One of my most frequently asked questions posed by my viewers is whether or not crochet braids are suitable for leisure activities that are inclusive of swimming in chlorine or salt water pools or even bodies of water. And I'm here to tell you, girl, stop stressing. You can wear your crochet braids, yes, your synthetic crochet braids, in the water but you have to be willing to employ certain steps to ensure that your hair lasts you can't just dump your head in the water and think that it'll be okay synthetic hair is very 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 sensitive one it's a synthetic fiber so it will not absorb product I know many of you like the idea of adding mousse to synthetic hair, but honestly, you should only add mousse to synthetic fibers if you are experiencing issues with separating the hair into individual pieces when you're initially installing the hair. So that is one of the biggest misconceptions. Mousse is not something that you should use on a day-to-day -day basis or even a weekly basis. Another tip. Water is your friend. If you've ever noticed, if you treat synthetic hair with water by spritzing it or by immersing it in water, it actually helps to volumize it, enhancing the volume, and it creates a more natural looking appearance. A lot of the time, the synthetic hair that we use to install for our crochet braids, it has this layer or film of product of which I believe is added during the manufacturing process to preserve it. And once you break down that layer, the hair looks so much more natural. Conditioner is your best bet, not only even conditioner, Yes, even one of those cheap, extremely affordable conditioners from the drugstore, it will be your friend. Use the conditioner at the hotel. Use the conditioner that you bring in the travel size for your vacation. Use whatever conditioner you have on hand that is a certified conditioner, not a leave-in conditioner, because trust me, there is a difference. And I want to also state that your maintenance routine, your nighttime routine, and your detangling regimen will be integral parts in whether you achieve and maintain a very volumized, minimal frizz hairstyle. So this video is essentially a compilation of clips where I detail how I care for my hair when I intend to go swimming, after I've been swimming, and when I'm preparing for night. So you do not want to miss this. It's important that you watch the entire thing to get the whole scope of the process because I'm not trying to mislead you. Some may say this process is convoluted, but honestly, my hair went from like, amazing to even more awesome because I use a very strict regimen and I do not steer from it because I know that I like a certain look so just let's, let's watch I recommend wearing your hair in a low bun or a low ponytail and use a scrunchie that has absolutely no metal to avoid any tangles or knotting and detangling is very important and I suggest detangling daily. Detangle before you employ the nighttime routine, which I will link within this video. And you can also detangle just after getting out of the pool because this helps to reduce drying on matted hair. So it's definitely a great tool to use. And as you can see, I take small to medium sized sections of hair and I like to detangle starting at the knot of the crochet braid working my way down the length of the hair towards the very ends. And as you can see I'm taking my fingers through the hair and just taking apart any pieces of hair that may have clumped together and this helps to actually enhance the overall volume. So if you find that your hair is clumping together this is definitely something that you want to do just to restore that volume. Conditioner is definitely something that you want to purchase when you are wearing a synthetic crochet braid hairstyle. Now, as you can see, I'm adding copious amounts of conditioner starting at the very ends of the hair. Now, this style is different, yes, but the concept is that conditioner helps you to better detangle if you encounter stubborn knots or tangles, and it helps to actually reduce frizz. As you can see, I am piling on 
the conditioner because essentially you can rinse this out so if you find that your hair looks dull in appearance maybe from the chlorine or the salt water this is going to help to restore that luster and that shine that healthy looking hair If you are completely unsatisfied with the appearance of your hair, I definitely recommend using my maintenance routine, which is much more in depth and is a bit more extensive. So I will link that video within this clip and in the description box. Two strand twists are so important. And after you've detangled and maybe even applied a bit of conditioner. You want a two strand twist. If you have the water wave or the tighter curl pattern, you can use a braid out. And you want to make medium sized twists or braids all throughout your hair because this best defines the curl pattern so that it does not become more loose over time. It just restores it. And just make sure you secure your ends if you are going to wash your hair. And as you can see, I do have an official wash routine for crochet braids, which is very, very effective, especially if you're exposing your scalp to chlorine or salt water. And I'm telling you, I have so many videos on this. So if you are interested in watching more, I definitely recommend you to view my in-depth crochet braid tutorial playlist so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really hope that it's fun for you all and you learn something and understand that you can go swimming in your crochet braids and you don't have to worry you just gotta be prepared uh, uh, uh. and details on my hair will be listed below because i know i'm gonna get questions i know i just know <laughs>